Hi, let us understand how to create our first machine image using the Packer. I'm going to use the JSON syntax. Let me go ahead and create the first file. I will be adding just a builder. Don't worry about the terminology now. This is a quick demo on how the Packer going to work. Packer going to have a number of components like builders, post processes and lot more. Here I'm going to use the builders which is going to be an array. So here I do have an array that will be represented with a square bracket. Internally I can have collection of keys and values that will be enclosed within the flower bracket. That's the syntax of the JSON. In case if you are new to JSON, please do revise yourself on the JSON syntax. And I can have a number of keys and the values corresponding to it. This key value pair will provide the record information for the builder. I'm going to use the builder type of Amazon EBS and only one builder I'm going to use. And the documentation of HashiCorp Packer provides what are all the other values that needs to be provided for the builder Amazon EBS. I'm going to use the builder of type Amazon EBS which is going to have n number of keys and values. The documentation of HashiCorp Packer provides what are all the keys and values that needs to be provided for the builder type Amazon EBS. It needs to have the access key ID, secret access key ID to log into the Amazon and in which region it should get created, the source AMI that is the base AMI that we wanted to use. So it will be very similar to what are all the information that we provide while creating the EC2 instance. So this is the AMI ID I have provided over here. So it will be using this specific AMI as the base AMI. And what instance type to use? It will be using t2.micro and the user ID to log into this specific instance is ec2-user. The AMI name it should create is packer dash demo one and all other resources it will create it automatically based on the need now if i look into the commands of packer it has an option called validate i can use this particular option to validate whether it is a valid json or not i will be using the command packer validate aws dash ami dash one dot json Yes, it is a valid JSON file. In case if there are any error, it's going to provide the error message. Later, we will be testing it. Now, let me go ahead and build this particular configuration file. Packer, build, and the JSON file. So this particular build will be in this specific color. In case if I have multiple build, then it's going to provide each and every build in a different color. Here I can see the information. It found the base image that we had provided as a part of the configuration file and it is creating a temporary key pair and security group. I can verify this as a part of the EC2 dashboard within security groups. I should have the security group that got created. Here it is packer underscore, which is a temporary group. And even within the key pair, it should have the temporary key pair packer underscore and then the number. And it is going to add the access details in terms of it will allow port 22 from every resource. Then it is going to launch an AWS instance. So the instance, it got launched and it stopped as well because it stopped for creating the AMI. It might have stopped the instance and it's waiting for the instance. Then it made the SSH communication. It connected with the SSH. Then it stopped the instance. And uh, once the instance is stopped, it's creating the AMI packer dash demo one. So the AMI is getting ready and corresponding snapshot will also get ready. Yes, the snapshot is also ready. So whatever that we did manually using the web UI, it's doing it automatically. And uh, once the AMI is ready, it will be terminating the AWS instances. So the important thing to remember over here is it's going to use the AWS resources in terms of EBS, EC2 instances, as well as the snapshots and all will get charged based on the billing rates. 
So please do monitor your billing as a part of your billing page. And in case if you are using the free tier, you will not get charged or otherwise, please do make sure you are terminating the unnecessary resources. Now I should be having the AMI that I requested it to create. So without logging into the AWS console, I made the packer to create the AMI for me. So this is a quick start and to understand how powerful HashiCorp Packer is.